गुड मॉर्निंग डे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्सेलेंस पॉइंट क्लासेस इन दिस क्लास वी विल सी एक्सरसाइज नंबर 3.1 ऑफ क्लास सेवन्थ डेटा हैंडलिंग विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड स्टूडेंट्स इन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फर्स्ट स्टेप इज देयर यू हैव टू ड्रॉ वन टेबल विच इज हैविंग थ्री कॉलम्स फर्स्ट विल बी ऑफ नंबर सेकेंड विल बी ऑफ टेली मार्क्स एंड थर्ड विल बी ऑफ द फ्रीक्वेंसी विच इज गिवेन नाउ सी हियर नंबर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन now one is occurring how many times so i have seen that one is occurring only one time so we will write here one and here also we will write one frequency is how many times the number is occurring now for two see how many times two is occurring for one and then two only two times so we will here put two lines and here we will write it is occurring two time similarly for three now three is occurring how many times so one time and only one time so we will write one and here also we write one similarly for four one time and two times and here three times so we will write one two and then three here also we will write three similarly for five five is occurring how many time one two three four and five so we will write one two three four and here we will write five and here also in frequency column we will write five now six six is occurring how many time one two three and four so one two three and four here we will write four similarly for seven seven is occurring one two and only two times so we will write one two here also we will write two eight is occurring how many times so we have seen eight is occurring only one time so we will write one here also we will write one and last for nine nine is occurring one time so we will write one because only one time it is occurring so we have made a frequency distribution table similarly for the next one we have to find the highest lowest range and the arithmetic mean so for that we have to see so first will be for the highest so highest so the highest value among it is 9 so we will write 9 is the highest 9 is the highest frequency similarly for lowest so we will write lowest the lowest among all is 1 so we will write one similarly for third we have to find the range so range is equal to highest highest frequency minus lowest frequency lowest frequency so highest frequency is 9 and lowest frequency is 1 so we will write Eight over here, and last for the arithmetic mean. So formula for mean is sum of sum of all observation divided by total number of observation. Divided by total number of observation. Now just see here, one into one will be one. Similarly, for two into two will be four. Three into one will be three. Similarly, four into three, so four threes are will be twelve. Plus five into five will be Twenty-five plus six into four. Six fours are will be twenty-four plus seven. Seven twos are will be fourteen plus eight ones are will be eight plus nine ones are will be nine divided by. Divided by the total observation. So total observation are how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So divided by twenty. Divided by twenty. When you will add this, you will get hundred. When you will add this, you will get hundred. So hundred divided by twenty. Hundred divided by twenty. 
will be how much 5 so we can say that the mean of the data is 5 now we will move towards question number second in question number next we have to see that we have to find the mean of the first five whole numbers. So dear students, you know that the whole number always start from zero. So the first five, first five whole numbers, whole numbers will be zero, one, two, three and four. Remember, it will not start from 1, it will start from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, the formula for mean will be sum of, sum of all observations divided by total number of observation, total number of observations. Now, 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 divided by observations are 5. So, when we will add it, 1, 3, 6 and 10. So, 10 divided by 5, you will get 2. You will get 2. Now, we will proceed towards question number 3rd. Students, in question number third, what we have to do first step will be there. We have to write the formula for mean that is sum of all the observation divided by total number of observation. Now just see you have to write the formula then 58 plus 76 plus 40 plus 35 plus 46 plus 45 plus 0 and at last plus 100 divide by total number of observations are 8 now just add 2 of it so 58 plus 76 will be 134 plus 40 plus 35 75 plus 46 45 will be 91 plus 100 divided by 8 now add all of this what you will get just see here 134 plus 75 will be equal to 209 209 plus 1 will be 210 210 plus 100 will be 310 and 90 will be 400 so it will be 400 divided by 8 now 8 fives will be 40 and 0 so the final answer will be equal to 50 so the mean score will be 50 then we will proceed towards next question students in the next question first step is there we have to find the average of a or we can say we have to find the mean of a so first step will be there we have to write the formula for mean so mean will be mean will be sum of sum of all the observations divided by total number of observation total number of observations now first we have to find for a so for a 14 plus 16 plus 10 plus 10 divided by 4 so it will be 50 upon 4 when we will cancel it we will get 12.5 so the average of a will be 12.5 similarly for c we have to find now in the second question the question is asking that whether we will divide it by 3 or we will divide by 4 now you will see that it is indicating that he has not played the third game he has not played the third game now what we have to do again we have to write formula for c and then we have to add the following so 8 plus 11 plus 13 divided by 3 why we are dividing by 3 because the candidate has not played the game so ultimately we are having three games which is played by the candidate c 
so ultimately we will divide it by 3 so we will add that 8 plus 11 will be 19 plus 13 divided by 3 so we will get how much we will get 32 divided by 3 or we will get 10.66 for c similarly for the third we have to find for b now b we have to divide by 4 why we have to divide by 4 because the score of game 1 for b is 0 but ultimately he has played the game so we will divide by 4 now 0 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4 8 plus 6 plus 4 divided by 4 so it will be 8 plus 6 will be 14 plus 4 18 divided by 4 now cancel out 9 by 2 it will be 4.5 it will be 4.5 now the question is asking who is the best performer so ultimately we can say that 12.5 is highest so a is the best performer students hope you all will like the video like share and subscribe for more such content thank you and have a nice day